I don't think so. Uh, oh, okay. Listen, man. I didn't get my to where I am in life from thinking things through. Yo, shout outs to everyone that's currently watching us get those two booster packs. Yeah. And if we get them, we're totally going to open them on stream. Yeah, we are. Because we're not smart. Nope. We're going to spew. Spew some packs. And if you guys do like this kind of stuff, let us know for sure because it is a little bit of a departure from the normal it is. Modern it is. Magic Monday yeah. uh, stuff. Artemis and Trary, nice. we, we're already going to lose. We yeah. cannot be no, Artemis No, come on, dude. Don't. Artemis and Trary, dude, we got he's this. the greatest assassin. I know, I know, but we I got this. See. This hand's pretty see, solid. I told this you. This hand's pretty yeah. solid. Yeah, yeah we're going to yeah. totally keep this. He's going to have to mulligan. No, Artemis doesn't mulligan. <laughs> Limited Magic Mondays, Craig yeah. Gasm? Yeah. Unless they invent a uh <laughs> a, day a day that starts with L, L. <laughs> and then it'll be like limited league Len Day. Len Day. I got nothing right there. Alright. He tried. He's thinking. Yes, Ooh, he's it's thinking. It's a noble effort. I don't know, man. Artemis and Trary. It does, doesn't, doesn't seem think. like the type of mulligan. No. I wish we could just instantly change our icon to Dritzed. Just to like to make this the most <laughs> epic battle ever. Yo. Just icing death, and what was the other one? Icing twinkle. death, and twinkle. Yeah, that, you it's forgot always, that one for a it's reason. Always the lamest, yeah. Yeah. So old Gideon's law keeper. We gotta let him know where we're at from the beginning. Mm -hmm. This is what we're about. Yeah, you might have dual activations there, Artemis, but we're. <laughs> oh. Yo, the Boros Guildgate. Are we are we battling? Yeah, is this a mirror match? This could be a mirror match. You uh. Yeah, we gotta yield. We gotta. Serve our time, Brett, because right. we almost lost it. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. It's looking pretty good, yeah. We'll go ahead and do that. Swing for one and ship it holler. He's scared. He's scared of the lawmaker. He's he's worried about the mirror, I think. Here's the question, though. Actually, I don't think it's a question. I think we attended night next turn. Okay. Uh, because that would give us a 3 3 flying first strike instead of a 3 3 flyer mm -hmm. on the. Uh, uh, Gotcha. Sky. I understand. Plus, we get to go wide, which is always nice. For like a later Dyna charge or scourge devils. Plus, maybe he's got the fear. You know, maybe he thinks we have like a lightning helix or a yeah. lightning bolt or mm -hmm. a swords to plowshare. The possibilities are really endless. I don't, I don't think it does. Tron, so, no! We passed the trumpeter, remember? I do remember. So. It's going to make our gifts of Orzova much, much, much worse. Okay. Uh, here's the thing, though, actually. This is an interesting play. I don't know what, that it's correct. I think we should... Mm. Mm. I actually want to pass the turn here. Tap down the trumpeter? Well, hope that he swings into us with the trumpeter and pitfall trap it. Oh, okay, I like that. I like that. That's a solid Oh, oh we, we actually attack attack with the law keeper. Because he's definitely not going to trade that, right? It, it, it makes the bluff much more believable, yeah. And if he does trade, whatever, who cares? Yeah. Great, dandy. Awesome. Wow. I'm so excited for these two packs. <laughs> I hope it happens. Please attack. No, but he's Artemis Century. You think he's he's ready? He has to attack. Artemis always goes on the attack. He does not defend. You think so? Let's see. I think Artemis... Nailed oh, it. Oh my goodness. Nailed it. You're done, son. It's a trap! I actually finally get to use it in the right context. Oh my. I'm so glad that guy's gone now because it makes our gift over Zova so much better. Oh, he's three color? Everybody but us is three color, Brett. Oh. Uh, actually, it looks like he might be four color because that's a oh. uh, gold gear signal. My, my. Okay. Um, Pretend tonight. Play the grotto? Actually, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Play the grotto. I'm going to leave up white again. Yeah. And I'm trying to think if it's worth attacking here or not. <clears throat> because if we do attack... So here's the thing. If he has a flyer, we could tap down the flyer that he plays. Yeah, but we can do that next turn anyway, right? Because we have the planes and the gift doors over in our hand. True. So I think we just attack because we have to sell the... That we're like aggro -y, right? Yeah. And I mean, you know, we really are. Especially in this match right now. We're definitely on the beat now. So he does have five cards in hand, which is... You know, a thing. But we also have a 3 3 flying first striker mm -hmm. next turn, potentially. Which is no slouch. What this is. 
Well, he's got green black. He's got. He got to learn how to use a signet, I guess. <laughs> yep, that's what happened. He didn't know how to use a signet. Is that a, come on with this guy. Wow. The good news is though that we do have the, the Gideon's gift. Lawkeeper for this. Oh game. yeah. And the gift, yeah, yeah, the yeah. gift. So. Okay. So ooh, okay. So wings. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I think we just give to wars over here and leave open white red. Yeah, I'm that guy. Leave open white red, um, for whatever reason. And now we just start uh, trying to ride that god of glory. <laughs> we do leave ourselves open for another bone splitters with sprouting thrinex, which is the worst part. Is that was actually in a draft set together? Really? Like it's not just modern. That was in Shards of a Large Range. Bone Splitters and Tharnax were both in. My, my. It was so obnoxious. I did it all the time. It was great. I did it all. I, did it. I love Bone Splitters. It's actually a really sick card. It's like, trade my worst creature for your best creature. For one black. Oh, I messed this up again. Right. Why? Why <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. So, we can just jump with the soldiers. No, nah, there's no need, right? Who cares? It's okay. three damage. We're at 23. We'll go down to 20. Also, we could say, hey, we don't care about your damage. Uh, I feel like I really put them on like some kind of bone splitters or something here, though, or something fat. Mm. Okay. Oh. Oh, that guy? Yeah. Okay, sure. We really don't want him to die, though, for what it's worth. But right. we do want to tap him down. Okay. Uh, now. No, 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 no. Right, don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. You say you say you want to do things, and look, I'm just trying to figure. I meant out. like you know. I got it. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let's do some math here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, can ten. we? Oh, can we? Can we almost kill him? Can we almost kill him? Yeah. So make a red for the traitorous instinct. Oh, but we can't. No, we we get we get to eleven. So you, we could. Well, it doesn't matter. We can't do it. That's right. the point. So I think we legionnaire here. And we swing in with our flyers, and we leave open a white. A white? To tap down the creature. That we oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Remember, yeah, yeah. remember that time? <laughs> but I, I have a feeling Traitor's Instinct might come into the clutch here. I understand. Uh, actually, I think we attack with the 1-1 one, one as well, right? Because we're not blocking that mud button torch. No. Huh. Yeah, we definitely just... Uh... Plus, the nice thing about this is... I keep doing that. <laughs> Those of you that are actually watching at home, I apologize. You can't see it that I'm pointing. Why don't at the, you tell me and I'll point at it? Three that doesn't work. Either. Oh yeah, yeah you got the you got the clicker. Yeah, um, I've got the mouse. The uh, attended knight will uh, trade the life total lost of the Thrinax plus deal an additional three damage. Gotcha. So, All right. um, so yeah. we're bringing everyone but except the lawkeeper. Yeah. All right. He's got to stay home and lay down the law. Oh, <laughs> after these two packs, we're. He's gonna kick me out of his house immediately. <laughs> immediately. Okay. Right. And that oh man, that traitorous instinct I feel is gonna be just great. Unless he just I don't know, maybe he has like a wildfire. Okay, he's so. going to combat. I wanna tap down the mud button. No, actually I don't think I don't think we care about it, right? It's when it dies. Yeah. We're twenty three, we just let him attack with whatever he wants to attack with, and we'll get better information second main to figure out what we want to tap with the wall. Okay. Why is it he's gotta have something? Because there's no way he keeps the tapping with his Thrinax when he's maybe I don't know, maybe he doesn't put him on the charge of training. <laughs> maybe we're so bad we drafted a good deck that no one puts <laughs> on. Maybe that's what it was. Oh, that card's fine. Yeah, that card's fine. So, let's see. That's going to be five when we take that thing. Brett, you did it again! We wanted to tap. Oh. <laughs> we still have enough to trade his instinct, though. Know, but we gotta... Tap we, down the mud button. No player turned correctly. Look. <laughs> Alright, actually, actually... Do you want to go for Super Rubbins right here? Yeah! Okay, okay, so... Float, let me make sure I can do this. Float a red, bounce a red. What? Hold on. I can fly. No, it doesn't work. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, Trader's Instinct, the uh, Centaur Healer. Okay. Still kind of mad at you. It's fine. Just... <laughs> Leave it wide open, yeah. Girl, give me that. <laughs> Hey, Yo, Madeo, welcome back. Madeo, you got here just in time to watch us make a good play after we made a bad one. Listen, 
<laughs> or didn't make a good one. I don't know if bad one is as good as... Am good. I clicking okay? No, you're going to tap that mud button torch just in case. Okay. I don't really know what just in case means, but... So yeah, we've got exactly 11. Is that right? Is my math right there? Exactly 11? It is exactly 11. Hey! Nice job. Nice job. Superb rubbings. Rub, rub ins. Rub ins. Mm, I don't think we're talking about the same thing here, Medeo. This is a family stream, please. Um, Molten Rain. Did he have a lot of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Molten Rain, totally. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Rubble Belt coming out? Yeah. Maybe that guy just shouldn't be in our deck. All right. Well, next, next match, we'll take him out. We won't have a next match. All right. This, never, right. Yeah, all right. Submit. Oh, we're good? I think, right? We're still, yeah, 41 card special. It didn't seem like our opponents had a lot of creatures. It just seems so, like he was in the same belt we were. How but... lucky? Do you see this guy? Oh, my. No, it's okay. Just let it, just let Ooh. it. Yeah. It's about to make the ire <laughs> of Eminem come out. Look, no one, no one at home can see it, so we how... don't need, he just. In it... case you guys didn't know, he just, how lucky does. Yeah, it's. So. He's just he's trying for the bait. It's all right. I don't do well with internet uh keyboard cowboys. Listen, so. keyboard cowboys. Like you just gotta you just gotta let it Although happen. if we're gonna be honest, if anyone were gonna how lucky someone, it would be Artemis and Trey. It would. Yeah, Artemis okay. and Trey would yeah. have lucky. He can't someone. he can't just lose gracefully. He has to Yeah, make excuses. Yep, he's gotta do what he's gotta do. So. It is lucky. It's very lucky we drafted the deck that we did. Yep. Thank you. Nice guy. Did you know that there's a Final Fantasy TCG out on the... I did not. On the East? I did not. Japan and the, the Euros, they got it right now. I'm trying to wait for Isn't it to it come. it's so to... weird to call Japan the East? Yeah. Because it's like directly west of us? Yeah, I it is know. directly west. I mean, I, I get it. I yeah. know what you're saying. Sorry. You're sitting next to a real cowboy, though. It's true. Sunset We're both wearing our, uh, our flannel button downs today, guys. Howdy. Actually, yeah, mine is a button down. I know it was a button down or button up. Howdy. Do you know the difference between a button down and a button up? No. If you don't, most people don't. A button down, just so you guys at home real quick, uh, is a shirt that buttons down at the collar. Button up doesn't. So, oh. yeah. Men's fashion, the more you know. <laughs> the more you know. Uh, This is probably fine. Yeah? You're okay with that? Yeah. More or less. He's going to six. Oh, he's going to five. Oh, he's going or he's to just, five. Yeah, he's deciding whether they're going to five. Alright. That was really lucky on our part. Yep. How lucky. <laughs> hey. Oh. I'll mute him. Mute him. Meet him. Oh, me. You don't need to mute him. I'm not saying anything. Yo. Gilgate, though. Alright. Uh, it's the beginning of his combat, so we'll yield until turn. Okay, sorry. Now we're back on our turn. Yeah. yeah. Chandra's Outrage. The good news is we can cast everything. Or we're one lane away from casting everything in our deck. Or two, I guess. The Thunder is right. But at this point, we get it off the top of Miracle. It, so Yo! We are... Oh, he's, oh, he's five color. That's a pretty good card against us. Yeah. That's something you have? I really hope we just top deck a Molten Rain right here. Nope. All right. Easy come, easy go. Uh, Hook one of the tokens? Or Skyfish or a land back? I don't think Scott Fisher and Landback is where we want to be right now. Um, Probably hook a token. All right. Yeah. And it gives us the option to uh, maybe Scott Fisher back um, hook the master. Hookmaster later. All right. Hit a token. Madeo's distracting us with Final Fantasy talk. He, he is, dude. I'm super is, stoked about this game, keeping though. keeping us from one love by distracting us with another. Beware the finished price. I'll pay it, dude. If you can give me the... Wait. Hold on. Let me let me get through this first. The finished prices. I thought the game was already finished. Wow. Immediately out the door at the end of this. <laughs> oh, come on. Molten Rain. <laughs> He's getting, uh, he's getting, uh, he's a little scrappy, feisty. Yeah. yeah, he's a little feisty right now. I think he's a little upset. That we're lucky? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I... I think that we... Ooh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and madcap skills the Hookmaster, I think, right? Well, if we're gonna Skyfisher it, though. Probably not at this point, though. Okay, alright. I 
think we just go aggro. Because here's the other interesting thing, is if we do this, and next turn he leaves his Lingering Souls back to block, although he can create new Lingering Souls, so there's that. There is that. Oh, man. I really hope he doesn't have a Pitfall Trap either. That would be that'd pretty pretty good. We deserve it. <laughs> we We got lucky. Yeah, we deserve it. Do you have it? Show me Pitfall. Show me... Oh, oh an Arab Mesa. This guy, he... We're lucky. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy getting yeah. an Aaron Mesa in his pool. Paying for half his draft with yeah. a one card. Mm -hmm. What do you got here, friend? What do you got here, friend? Mm. Oh, okay. Just kidding. Flash Mac Lingering Souls? I mean, I, I think so. Like... Yeah. Okay. Now, if he attacks with both, we could outrage. Nope, he's not gonna. He's a little smarter than that. Oh. Is it a land? Oh, come on. I don't. I don't think we do it. We're one away from hard casting it, and we don't want to do it on a token. That doesn't seem optimal. Okay. No, I don't want to reveal that. Thank you. So I think this may be the turn that we skyfisher a land back to our hand. Okay. Yeah. And then we don't reveal that we have a land. Or no. Play oh, it. Ahead. Yeah, we can't it. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Nobody's watching anyway. That's not true. Madeo's trolling. Madeo is not watching. Madeo's <laughs> not trolling. He's just. I just want the TCG in America, man. It looks so good. Like, I've been reading the rules. It definitely seems legit. They're already playing it in tournaments. Hey, Artemis. It's a tactical error. I I'll tell you what, though. I am having fun. Yeah, yeah, for I sure. Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't think that, like, MTGO is going to... You treat me well. I think it's because you're sitting next to me. Well, I'll tell you, part of it is I do enjoy MTGO. I am enjoying it more here for sure. Yeah. But I have, so you guys know at home we're talking about. Mateo, you are. What did I do the, now? <laughs> you are the, the butter to our bread. True. You are here with us, uh, probably just a um, mountain. Yeah. And a replay. Yeah. Um, and then just pass the turn. Yeah, we don't need to read that thing for two. Two fellers. Um, I can't read that at all. Opus two set. Two box thirty six boxes. Boosters, boosters. Okay, so it's like a it's like a box of magic cards. How many uh, how many cards come in a pack? That is a good question that I do not know. The original magic. Many people don't know this trivia. Mm. Eight cards, eight cards in a booster pack. I think I knew that. Yep. The first booster pack I ever bought did not realize had eight cards. I paid twenty dollars. For an Alliances booster pack. Mm. I was hoping to get a Force of Will. <laughs> How'd uh, they go? I did not realize that my chances of getting the Force of Will were marginalized because the pack was half the size. So. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. 12 cards per booster. See? Mm -hmm. The Shimmering Grotto may have activated... Yeah, he's, he didn't have green before, right? So, he's playing something. He is playing something. Oh boy. Yeah, that's uh that's pretty good. Something he's, we can do. He's gonna we're gonna gain five life for whatever that's worth, but So yeah, anyway, uh definitely having more fun here than my house. I have been recording myself recently, uh, in hopes to continue to build the brand and join your all streaming. And I must say that making blunders with you is much more fun than making them by myself. Listen, so. the the best thing that I can tell you is make blunders with me and then just blame them because it's more believable that it was me and not you. So, so let's go with a land and a probably I guess the the scourge devil here maybe. Yeah, because he's a three three. We're really gonna need something to get past these tokens. Yeah. 
They also have the starter packs. Yeah, see, they got starter packs and everything, man. It's going to be great. It kind of sucks that we're missing out on his ability, but, you know. Just, I just need it to come to America. We need a body on the board. We do have a body on the board. Well, yeah, but I'm saying we, we lost the plus one, plus zero trigger. We could have Cloudo on the board. What did you just say? Cloudo. Cloud Strife. What is that? If we're if we're playing the mat, the Final oh, Fantasy TCG. Man. Listen, I like Final Fantasy, but not that much. Come on, dude. Mm. Okay. Sounds rotten. Stop. But we have a Shotter's Outrage for him. We do. Ooh. Son, he's so aggressive. He wins because we got lucky. Well, you'll have that. Yeah, hit okay. So I think that we want to outrage this because it does die to outrage, whereas he might play something a little bit later that doesn't. So, yeah. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what uh, I was uh, going to say something about our friend Artemis, but I decided not to. Oh, okay. That was nice of you. Yeah. He's our friend. He is our friend. Go to, go to nine. After we attack. <laughs> is it seriously if you want to play our land yeah do you yes uh Mateo, do you have the msrp on it look out world he's not gonna attack now right like you know, he might. he's playing something else here what does he got? I hope it's something big and juicy. So that when we banishing stroke it, he's just going to rage across the screen. <laughs> You'll be able to feel it. He's backing out. No, he's paying costs. Uh, Again with this. Oh, man. Yeah. It's, so we're going to take what? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Something uh, that happens. I think we're just dead, right? Yeah, we're dead. Yep. Should we type back how? No. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> just, just, no. Yeah. Just, yeah. It's a good thing you're here, Brett, because so you can make <laughs> you can make our name better. And you know what? It's true because we're under Mad we're Mar under Magic, Mondays. Magic Mondays. If we I can. was under the old Dionysus Bacchus, I would have totally had a lucky him right yeah. now. Um. So what do we got here? I feel like maybe. Our pitfall, our second pitfall might be okay. Yeah. Um, you know, just based off what I mean, I know he has lingering souls, but it's really committed to the... And we can probably drop a Skyfisher, because I think one of the biggest advantages of our deck is that we can out-tempo him. Sure. And Skyfisher sets us back on the tempo. And in all honesty, again, I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen much from his deck that I actually, like, yeah, sure, torn of souls. Neat, no, but yeah, like, that's all. I think this is solid. Yeah. Let's do it. This is for the packs. This is for the, the starters packs. starters are 15 euros, which is around 17. 5 euros. 176. Mm. I don't really like that. Yeah, I think you might be right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Too expensive. Oh. I think we gotta try it. Yeah. Hope. And we gotta bottom that. Oh, thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to chit chat with you about the the Final Fantasy thing, but I appreciate you enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madeo. Sorry, man. We're trying to win packs. This is because we didn't have the tournament stream. We didn't have the content because of the the invitational happening tomorrow. Well, um, see, what it is is Brent has. A lot of free time on his hands. I have a ton. And I'm so just, much free uh, time. Wow. Yeah, I'm just a little uh, occupied. Like I run two restaurants. Yeah. And Brett just kind of hangs out. So it's like, does when nothing. I, when I can get free, Brett uh, and I could do this again sometime. I have, I'm before that. My card's pretty grueling if he gets. All right. uh, gets a goal. If you continue to do this, however. Do we just hold the hookmaster here? I feel like you do because we want to yeah. hit a creature with it. Yeah. No phone, don't tell me when to go to bed. You're not my real dad. <laughs> that looks oh. like our 
opponent's carrying out. Oh, oh, I hate this card. Deals combat damage to a player. That player discards yeah, a card. Oh, my. That card is so obnoxious. And it has on Earth. And it flies. It's an uncommon, this set. Since he can't strip. No, no, no. I don't believe him. Um, It's an uncommon in this set. There's a mountain number one. Yo, we're in. Uh, we're not in yet. We're in. We really need that thing to go away. Hook master this guy. Yeah. Leave open, uh, leave, uh, it's too late. Yeah. Pitfall. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Uh, okay, so I don't even have to pick, because it's already, okay. Well, no, it's, yeah, okay, okay. Right, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna keep saying that. Yeah. Um, hopefully we draw a red source here, whether it be the old Shimmering Grotto or Mountain, because I really don't want to fight against that Sedraxis Spectre. Yeah. I understand. The hand weird lancer though is nice. Yeah. Old mud button. You got a friend of Mountain, please. Come on, mountain. Oh, oh the trumpeteer. It's getting a little Trumpeteer is very good against our deck because we <laughs> Huh. We rely pretty heavily on. Man, that's savage. Yeah, uh, has. We rely pretty heavily on our creature enchants. Uh, maybe just a handwear lancer here. Now, here's the other thing to consider. If we discard the Scourge Devil, it does have on Earth. Oh, you're right. You're right. So we, we get at least one. Get some kind of value. Yeah. Soul bond. Yeah. It's we would happen. like to make a relationship. Oh yeah. Uh honestly I, I kinda want to attack with the Hookmaster here. Uh oh, but the mud button though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that, because then we lose. Yeah, probably not. But yeah. just gonna keep that thing back for a while. Yeah. Yeah, just okay. It's not looking good for the good guys here. Come on, two packs. Tell you why? Oh, I don't. Oh, something giggle. Is opponent playing fiery justice again here? Oh my, that would be savage. Be fiery justice. I'm totally typing out lucky. No, it's happening right now. <laughs> I just called it. I just. No, you gotta let it, you gotta let it happen. No. Oh, we did. It was a good fight. Uh, and a good first game. Yeah, discard this courage devil. Now it's way top deck. Oh, yeah. Mm, all right. Yeah, Molten Rain. Great. Another two cards. <laughs> We're doing big things. Man, this is so anticlimactic. I know. Here we it's all right, though. Yeah, we had fun. It's a learning experience. Yeah. And we got to provide Medeo with some, uh, and others with some... Uh, yeah, Richard, Hairball was here. Yeah, content that they're not used to seeing from us. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's when it came out in the EU. It was in October, so I think I have to wait until, the you EU? know, Is forever. that a thing anymore? Yeah, you're up. Uh, Stopped existing, right? Europe? Like no. Brexit? The Brexit? I think we get rid of the Mad Cap, right? I don't think it matters. Yeah, it does matter. <laughs> what are we going to draw here, Brett? To... Yo, see? Look at that. The mountain. <laughs> right on time. Here, we're not going to quit, right? Because there's packs on the line. Yeah. So we'll outrage this Sidrax Inspector. And we'll still die in two turns. No, you got to believe, friend. Listen, man, I can do math. you got to believe. Math is... Well, Parappa the Rapper did teach us anything. You gotta believe. <laughs> I gotta believe. You gotta believe. I believe that this fun night is coming to a close. Like we hit the crumbling necropolis. Because we already know as soon as I finish this, uh, you're just gonna kick me out. He's just gonna keep playing cards. Well, yeah, it's because he's got three of them. <laughs> How does he have so many? 
Come on, man. Is oh, that necessary? Yo, the, the suburb rubbings. Well, to be fair, I think it just kills it this turn versus next turn. So, not quite a rub-in. I hope, you know what I hope? I hope, now everybody here knows, Brappa the Kappa. Everybody here knows that I personally wanted to have Lucky Artemis, but Brett being the humble, noble gentleman, we did not. Oh. Uh, that being said, I hope he feels uh, rude now, having beat us. It was pretty bad. Know, there was, was no reason to do that. Yeah, it was pretty bad. This be a lesson. Be a humble, nice magic player like Brett, not like Eminem and Artemis. Um, but anyway, so what did you uh, what did you think of Modern Masters 2017, our first draft? Um, I think I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not normally a white red player, uh, but you know, with your help, we kind of we kind of put together a deck that I think we could be proud of. I mean, it was pretty close. You yeah. know, all of our games that there weren't any blowouts. Um, MTGO is definitely a kind of a learning curve, to be honest. Um, and it it just requires playing it. What's over... actually yeah, that's the biggest problem I've had is I haven't played for so long. Then when I started playing again, I was like misclicking or yeah. clicking through phases and stuff. And, it and I just, mean, it just happens yeah. so quickly. But the thing that's nice about it, and I'm going to round this out with, why do we do Modern Magic Mondays besides providing you all of this great modern content and more than just modern going forward, is that we like to do a learning stream. Um, and this is a very good example of a learning stream. You know, MTGO is kind of troll you know, it can be kind of troll. People don't really like it. It's a clunky client. Uh, but the, the greatest thing about it is that it teaches you how uh, the phases work. And it makes you really pay attention and make sure that you know that you have priority at all of these different phases. And then you cannot proceed until you say, all right, well, now I'm giving it back to you. Well, yeah, and, and you're absolutely right. And the, the other thing that's nice about it as well is that while everything you said is 100% true... It is, uh, you know, kind of forgiving in a sense that, like, you're asked, okay, every single time you do anything. It's like, yeah. oh, are you sure you want your mana pool to empty, which right. we didn't see tonight. Um, and the other thing that you bring up that's a good point is that a lot of the streamers that you watch have been doing this for so long and are so good at it that you miss the nuances of, like, hotkeys that we don't even know how to turn on um, yet. Yet. We're getting there. That's right. Uh, but... You know, they, they're so smooth and fluid at it that you watch these other streamers uh, in Magic and it's just like they know exactly what they're doing. They know the timing of everything. You very rarely see them misclick or anything like that. So you kind of get to learn that with us um, as well because I know a lot of our players in our local shop who is a, who are a, a large part of the viewership don't play a lot of Magic Online. Some of them do. I know a couple do, you know, sporadically, but not yeah. seriously. So when you see things like, you know, your right click to um, yield until end of turn when you don't have anything to do, to save you a little bit of time. And you saw there in the third game how much more time we had at the end of the game, even though we went, or the third match, even though we went to exactly um, three games, yep. you saw how much more we had just from little tips and tricks like that. And there's sure uh, other tricks that we haven't t uh, picked up or like, right. again, like the hotkeys and stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think we had a, a very solid deck. It, it did exactly what we wanted it to do. Um, I think going forward, maybe we had a couple too many double red spells. Yeah, maybe. You know um, what I mean? We, we Especially in that last game, we ran into it where we were just drawing double red and we didn't have a whole lot. Well, so. we don't have that. But, I mean, again, at the same time, you know, you look at some of these other decks and they're, like, just super greed, right? Like, um three, four, five colors that we played against tonight. And, you know, they're running like that Golgari Rotworm, which is black-green. He's running a, a black-green card in a five-color deck, which is... Sure. sure, he had to signet and stuff. And, I mean, he won, so what right. do I know? But, right. um, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think that it's too, uh, too out of the realm of possibility to expect when you're playing, what do we have, eight planes, seven mountains, and a uh, victor? Yeah. Uh, I think that's right. Yeah, um, Grotto. Yep. Eight planes, seven Fixer. No, it should have been 8-8 eight, eight and a fixer, right? If it's 17 lands. Yeah, um, Yeah, because we did have a swamp in there, and we went yeah. with the planes. So, I mean, I don't think that that's too out of the realm to expect double red and double white on turn 4, turn 5, when you're playing a two-color deck with sure. one land that, that can provide either. So, um, But yeah, I mean, I, it was definitely uh, it's definitely lived up to the Modern Masters, in my opinion, the, the Modern Masters drafts that I've done before. Uh, it's, it's fun. It's got the best of the best. It plays cards like Mock Flunkies, which aren't really... Uh, and in their day were 
powerhouses, but now they're just fine limited cards to play in. Yep. And they're fair, you know, can't attack or block alone. And we fortunately didn't really see that come up to where we had issues where it couldn't attack or block alone. But no, we're a very creature heavy deck. Right. So um yeah, I mean so I, I like it because you get to experience new cards, uh and old cards, you know, for, for people like myself that, that drafted a lot back in the day. Um, Core Hook Master was always one of my favorites, so when I see that now, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember how awesome this card is. And it's still good, you know, it's still a great card, so. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, for, for me, personally, I think it was really nice to be able to actually do some limited. You know, it's something I've been talking about doing more often. You know, kind of, not stepping away from Constructed, but... Uh, I get I get frustrated really easily, and uh, I know that limited's probably going to frustrate me as well. Uh, but it just takes time, and it, it's like kind of going back to what you were talking about while we were building the deck and kind of just sitting down was you know you get to learn um, just more and more about the format, you know, about magic in general, and it just makes you a better constructed player. Right. Because you learn, like, all of these, like, weird, nuanced cards that you wouldn't normally see in a constructed deck, but you kind of learn how the synergies work outside of your normal shells. Yeah, exactly, Um, and and I think you're absolutely right. So, yeah. So, guys, this was uh, kind of, like we said, out of the norm for Modern Magic Mondays. (laughs) Uh, Tomorrow we will be filming the Season 4 Invitational for you guys. So expect that next Monday starting at 7, no, 6.30 p.m. I was thinking 7 since we were around this time. Um, But thank you guys very much. Shout outs to everyone again that was sitting in chat, just chit-chatting with each other as we were, you know, blundering along in that first game. Blundering is a great word for it. Yeah. Um, And uh, if you guys are interested in this and you do want to see more of it, by all means, you know, at Real m M&M, m at Pharmazurinar, at The Real Nam Man, or at Modern Mondays. Modern Magic Mondays? No, just Modern at Modern Mondays. Mondays. Oh, that's um, that one guy we want to keep sending messages to. It's so at Modern Magic, it. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Um, be sure to send out those tweets. Message us here at twitch.tv slash Modern Magic Mondays as well, just to let us know what you guys thought. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to put this on YouTube as well just to kind of maybe it could be a, a youtube series for us there was that one uh word slippage that um not really worried about yeah. it. it it went under it went under the yeah, radar yeah, nobody think. heard it yep. anyway hmm. nope um it, it was very close to the actual word you were going i tried for, so yeah, yeah. um but that's gonna be it for us guys thank you again so much for chilling hanging out and uh, we will see you next week next monday for the season four player invitational see ya